Alrighty, today we're going to be playing some Don't Open Your Eyes. So I saw this game in the description below Gnarl Tag and I thought, wow, that looks interesting. So I decided to test it out. Dot, 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 dot. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my door and the opposite wall is only ten steps long. I'd know since I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three, absent-mindedly as always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details, but tonight is different. The hallway looks like it stretches into nothingness, like the throat of a gargantuan beast. Logical, think logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway, but... I don't want to look at it. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room. There's a bed. In my room. There's a wardrobe. In my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around? I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes to having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Footsteps. Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They're gone. Right, there's no way someone could be there. A giant jump scare. Interesting. Hello there. Open your eyes. No, thank you. Let me turn up the volume so you guys can hear it a little better. Why won't you look at me? Where are your manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Is that how it is? I will share a secret with you. I have never seen myself before. My face is ugly. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. That is why I need you to open your eyes so you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy, so I might hide the moment you do. You won't find me anywhere, and soon you will forget. Sleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Like I could almost grab them. Put my fingers around. Hey yo. Them. It 
It's his one. It's his one. Tear them off. If I do, will you scream? Will I hear your voice? Is he genuinely gonna tear them off? It was a joke. All right. I'm joking. Ha 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 ha. Don't be scared. Okay, bro. Hey. How do you think my eyes? Look, when our cases finally meet, what will you find? I have the feeling if I open my eyes, he's gonna eat my face or some shit. Answer me. How about you answer some bitches? Ooh. sister out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes me. I can't open doors. I find them tricky. Should I push or pull? Should I turn the knob left or right? So you're telling me you're capable of speech, but you're not capable of finding out how to open a door. That's, it's really not big, that big of an issue. You've been sitting here for the past 10 minutes, and yet you can't open a door. You want to waste your time talking to me, yet you don't want to waste your time. Well, it's not even a waste of time. Just find a way to open the door. But then again, if this guy knew how to open doors, it would be against the plot. And yeah, okay, just never mind. Should I try to take it off its hinges? Uh, probably not. 
Should I chip away at it? Hoping it will fall apart. If you have that much strength, then you are definitely something I do not want to open my eyes to. And what happens when it opens? Do I close it behind me? Do I keep it open? But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. But then, how do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. So many things I could go whenever I stand in front of a closed door. It paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time. And think of my excuses. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. To keep me out, it fills me with the need. So I search for a crevice. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. A surprising amount of effort was put into this game seeing as it was free. It looks like something that would be on Steam for like 10 or 15 dollars and nobody would play because the uh, developer has never been heard of. But instead this has like 100k downloads so it's I respectable. With doors. But as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. So are you saying you're really small or really flexible? Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. How many are you? How many of there are you? I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. Or I mean, how many of you are there? In my internal search, I pick a place where to rest. Oh, so if he gets caught in the light, he might die. In my room, I have this little light controller. If I just press the button, it'll turn on all the lights, and I keep it next to my bed. So this dude would be screwed. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. I feel at home there. But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. So he's not a homeless guy. So I search hard for a door that's open, for an entryway covered in darkness, and for someone to be at the other end, awake, as if expecting me. But you won't look at me, even though you had your door open for visitors. that yeah I don't know why the character left the door open are you afraid um perhaps you are a random stranger in my room and you're telling me to open my eyes and you refuse to do anything to, to me until I open my eyes hinting to the fact that you want to murder me if I open my eyes and you said that you were shy yourself so what reason is there for me to open my eyes you won't see me I won't see you because you'll be hiding away do I scare you? Uh, not really. But then, yes, really. It's mixed emotions. No, that can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. You haven't chased me out. That means you welcome me. Why is this one arm shorter than the other? Is it? Okay. I don't know if he has hands. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand, you would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. Because people are always... Hey, how do my hands look when my warmth finally meets yours? How will it feel? Answer me. Those don't really look like tired hands. I'm gonna be honest. That may be so. Great, my chair is making noises again. These fingers of mine have touched so many things. Okay then. 
they are always stretching forwards, reaching out for something. The tip of my finger stands over the surfaces that I travel, and their sensations reach the core of my brain. So he has a brain. Be it the softness He's not like a ghost or anything. Spring flowers. I mean, we already confirmed that, but you know. Or the roughness of a wall made out of rubbish. Caressing, grabbing, clawing. No matter the time of day, no matter if I'm awake or asleep. As if they had a mind of their own. Even now, they clutch onto the fabric of your bed sheets. They like how these thousands of threads intertwine with each other. The rustle of fabric against fabric, of skin irresistible. They want more. They want to feel closer. To have it between them and around them more and I more pretty much just stole more. until daytime. That's I think the only way to survive in this game. Sometimes, however, they can reach as far as they'd like. That's when I then to hand I take over and stretch, 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 and they grow. Maybe just the length of a fingernail every time. But they grow. Just so they can reach out, clutch what they want, and then throw it aside, discarded, and forgotten. That's why they are tired. Because they never stop seeking. And most likely, never will. Hey, have you ever stretched your fingers to grab a hold of something important? that it's been long out of your grasp. Um, I think my sense of direction or eye-hand coordination is a little better than that. Have you? I wouldn't overestimate how far my hands can reach. These hands. That's my chair, by the way. Are these my hands? A good answer. Yet, there is only Open your Open eyes. Yeah, predictable. Your eyes. No, thank so you. So you won't look at me. Even though my hands could be the same as yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh. the crazy I don't want to be judged so if you judge me with since I asked you to judge me I'm going to murder you shut your bitch ass up I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not it scares me that is why when someone is on the verge of looking at me I shy away he would run into probably there and then peek out I see him he runs over stabs me I hide Fading into the dark. My prediction is it's either a monster, a homeless guy, or a parent. But low chance it's a parent. But you might be different. 
comforts you. It might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me. And we can both be fulfilled. And what would I get out of it? Uh, just thinking about it. Alright, I'm gonna end the first part off there. The second part will be in the description down below. And thanks for watching. See you later.